Hi guys, in this video we're looking at the area and perimeter of a sector. Uh, we already know that the area of a circle is pi, what happened there, uh, pi r squared, and we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r or pi d. Now in this case, uh, we may not want the full circle, we just want part of it. And so there's our radius. And what I'm doing is cutting a piece of um, this circle and I'm just gonna shade it. And that is what you call a sector, okay? So that's a piece. So we'll call this a sector, but I'll call this a minor sector. And because it's a small one, because if it's in reference to, I guess, the bigger piece, if we were to shade everything else, that would be, I guess, your major sector. Okay, if you had to compare the two, they, a sector is basically a portion or a fraction of a circle. Um, and then some other uh, features that I want to show you is this arc here, okay, this curve. What I might do is I'll do that in a different color. So this, this curve here in the purple uh, I'd like to label that as a minor arc because it is, a, I guess, a small arc. Um, and then relative to the other side, uh, let's choose blue. So going all the way around here, that is going to be our major arc. Okay, again, it's all relative to what you can see. We've got uh, a small portion of the circle. Uh, that's a sector, but the green part is also a big portion of it. Um, so it's what is defined as minor and major. Uh, I guess you could say that a minor sector is, is usually less than 180 degrees and a major sector is going to be more than 180 degrees, and then the arc will be um, pretty much the same. Now, what I want to help you understand is to work out a fraction of a circle uh, is basically that. So whatever the fraction is, um, you're going to multiply that by the formula of an area or the circumference. So let's say a fraction of a, uh, a full circle, let's put it that way. Okay, so with area, we've got pi r squared. Now the word of means times, okay? So I want you to understand that the full circle is pi r squared related to area. Of means times, and the fraction is basically what portion of the circle we're going to multiply by pi r squared. Now, a full circle has 360 degrees. This portion here, okay, we're going to call it theta. Okay, so theta, which looks like a sideways Q or a very cursive O, um, that is the sign for an angle. So theta, which is basically angle or degrees. Okay, so that's uh, that's our symbol of an angle that we don't know, or we represent an angle that we want to uh, talk about or refer to. So whatever that value is we're going to put it on top of the fraction. And we'll do a couple of examples and you'll see how this plays out. Um, so for example, let's say uh, some really, really basic ones. If I have um, 
No, that's not what I want. If I have a quarter of a circle, okay, the theta is 90 degrees, okay? So that angle there is 90 degrees because it's quarter of a circle. And not, we want to multiply that fraction, which is basically a quarter, by pi r squared. Okay? Same thing if we wanted to get the arc here. Okay? Just that curve. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to have a quarter of 2 pi r. Because in this case, we would have the radius of a circle, and so we want to put r into the equation. Okay? So to work out the arc of a circle, you'd want to multiply the fraction by 2 pi r. If we want to know the area of that sector, then we want to multiply that fraction by pi r squared, because that is the formula for the area. So let's, uh, if we go back to uh, perimeter, we're going to have the same fraction, whatever that angle is, divided by 360, multiplied by 2 pi r, or pi d, okay? Now, you need to decide which of those two versions you're going to be using, uh, depending on the, I guess, the circle that you have. But usually, you'd want to be using 2 pi r, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's move on to a, a couple of questions, uh, and we'll see how we go from here. Here we have two sectors. Uh, we have uh, a major one on the top, and we have a minor one at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to do both the area and the perimeter for both of these questions uh, to help you out. Okay, so let's do let's do the perimeter first. So the perimeter, I guess, is going to be uh, theta. It's going to be theta over 360 multiplied by um, 2 pi r. Now, the angle we have on this sector is 238 degrees. So we'll have 238 written on the top there. That over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. Now, we know from this diagram that the radius is 30. So we're going to put 30 there. So 2 times pi times 30 is going to give us our perimeter of this arc here. Okay, so we'll put that in our calculator. Remember, you've got your pi button, which is over here. So 238 time, uh, divided by 360. There's our fraction, okay, times 2 times pi times 30. And we've got 124.6, 124.6, and making sure our units of measurement is right, is centimeters. Now remember, this is only the arc that's going around here. Now we want to add these two lines as well, okay? It's kind of like a Pac-Man, so you want to include his mouth. And so each of these straight lines is 30, okay? So we're going to add 30 and, and add 30 again. So our answer is going to be 184.6 centimeters for the perimeter of this entire shape, okay? Alrighty, so now we're going to look at the area of this sector, okay? So we've got our fraction here. We're going to do exactly the same thing, 238 over 360. And instead of multiplying by 2 pi r, we're going to use the pi r squared formula, okay? So radius being 30, we're going to have 30 
squared instead. So let's put that in our calculator again. So 238 divided by 360 gives us that fraction in decimal form. We're going to multiply it by pi, and we're going to multiply it by 30 squared, which is 900. And we got 1869.25. 1869.25 units of measurement, centimeters. And because it's area, we're going to have centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at question D. So we've got another sector here. Uh, in this case, the angle is 140 degrees. So we're going to be writing 140 over 360 as our fraction multiplied by 2 pi r because we're going to work out the perimeter first of this arc. Okay, so this arc here. And the radius, we can see that it is 77, 77 meters. So let's put that in our calculator. 140 divided by 360 is that. And then multiplied by 2, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 77. And we've got 188.15. So 188.15, uh, this is in meters in this case. And remember, because we want the perimeter of the entire shape, um, we're going to be including these lines. Please don't forget them, and they are both equal. So we're going to add uh, 77 plus another 77. So 188.15 plus 188.15 plus 77 plus 77 is going to be 500 and whoops no gone too far 188.15 plus 77 plus 77 is 342.15. Three, four, two point one five, and we need to remember meters. Okay. All right. So there's our perimeter for this shape. Now we're going to work out the area of this sector. So the area of the sector is the same fraction, and we're going to multiply it by pi r squared this time, and the radius again is seventy seven. So we want times 77 squared okay so let's work that out it's really important that when you put things into brackets uh, sorry into the calculator that it's um, that you do enter it correctly um, so I'm hoping that the way that I'm putting into the calculator shows you uh, the procedure and the order that I do things so 140 divided by 360 is that as a decimal in decimal form and we're going to multiply it by pi and then we're going to multiply it uh, by 77 squared okay and that equals 7243.64 Seven two four three point six four, and then meters squared as our um, area of that sector. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully that helps. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.